Hi everyone, welcome to Espresso Press Design. I hope you're all having a great day. Mary here, let me get um, seated. Today I'm going to do a little project that um, got pretty well received in one of my groups um, and it that was basically a salvage operation and a save and I made let me get a variety here I made these little embellishments let me move closer made these little embellishments from um, my fails <laughs> from the last project and then I realized I had another stack to do um, I showed them in, an, in another video the, the, it, those were the inking and the embossing that just didn't turn out very well. So I cut them all out of the, the card base size and gessoed acrylic on top and then inked. And then that was how they turned out. And um, I kind of got the inspiration from a couple places. Uh, one was in a group of like doing some whimsical acrylic type flowers where you just kind of like swirl the paint and the gesso and make a little rose um, from. Uh, Craft Emporium, I think it's, or no, Mixed Media Emporium. And then the stamping the text on top came from another photo. So I thought we would do that. And I'm still, I'm still in housekeeping mode. <laughs> really, I am. Um, I swear 90% of paper crafting is housekeeping. So what I was planning on doing was um, my one, my was my gatherings inspiration from those polymer clay. And I did do it kind of like a master board but they are just too t time consuming for a mass make and I started them they're not finished I have to add the final details gloss them so I'm just going to turn that into a blog post with photos and I did finally quit being lazy and cut out all these little die shapes and I wanted to probably shake the camera a little bit here. Wanted to show you my box bag that I got ready to go out the door. And more things will be added to it. You know, I went through my paper packs. I got the paper that I liked decided to leave the paper packed intact. My Tim Holtz, some punches, this little, um, you know, the ones I showed you I didn't want. I cut out what I wanted. 
So all that, as soon as that bag gets full, it will be going out. So then another housekeeping chore I had to tackle this little box which was getting full you know I put these behind um, labels behind words make fish tails if I need a tiny little border whatever um, those tiny little pieces go in there and it was getting way too full so I had to tackle that and um, I kind of got an idea from Gail Agostinelli who always does a lot of collaging which I do too and then I make my papers, but I usually don't cut them out. I usually save them and then I scan them. <laughs> Here's another one. And then I make my own paper that way. I always have it. I can put it in a product, collect enough of them that look similar in tone or whatever, add them to a kit, whatever, and um, yes, you can do this. You're not violating any copyright because you're creating something new and it is not representative of what the original product was or intended to be because you've created something new and if every mixed media or whatever person got taken to court for copyright violation there would not be any mixed media projects in museums so no, creating something entirely new is not a copyright violation. No one owns a line. So what you'll need for this is any shape you want, circles, squares, whatever, and some gesso and whatever colors you prefer. Um, since I already have a lot of pale colors, the only one I don't really have is uh, lilac, violet, whatever. And I want a neutral. I want more neutral. And then you'll need some kind of a text stamp to go on top. So let me get me my gesso here. And then I will be, oh, okay, I forgot something, sorry. As I was going through my little box, I decided to, um, I usually sort things out. Grabbed a handful, sorted them out by color, and then when I sit down to do things like this, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, let me get my, my trusty plate. And to save time, I just have another little palette to put my uh, gesso on. And I probably should have saved the talking while I'm waiting for the gesso to dry. And that, those two are probably going to get mixed because I don't really want brown. I want more of a 
neutral. And this just so I can't even tell you how old it is. <laughs> it's still good. <sighs> Probably. You know, I don't paint with acrylics anymore, hardly. Um, it's probably 15 years old. Let me get my tray here so you can see. So the first step was covering everything with gesso. And I don't know how much the ink is going to show up on the edges of this blue one, but I'm going to have to use black. So this side. Whoops, that was a little too much. Wipe off your finger so you try to preserve the texture. This is, I mean, they all come out different, but I really, some of those kind of looked. French to me, <laughs> just the, the blend of colors. And I don't know if you've ever seen um, <clears throat> the journals by Moonside Parlor, but she often combines those, like those green ones with a little bit of red in it that was left over from the ink. She often combines those types of colors. So that's kind of what it reminded me of. Something French. And that one's kind of pretty, but you know, it looks. I'm covering it anyway. And then I'll probably use that paper and a couple, one or two of these, and I'll make a tag, an envelope, or something with it so you can see what they look like on a finished project. So this one might end up looking kind of French because it has the green and the pink. It's way too much gesso. But yeah, I swear. If you don't keep up with stuff, you end up having to do a week or two of housekeeping and then see I cut all these little emboss I'll use those for something I don't know what yet but it's a curse I keep everything and I, it's probably a bad habit and actually I've gotten to where like I used to keep even this stuff <clears throat> to punch out tiny flowers, tiny leaves, whatever, with a punch. And I don't even do that anymore because <laughs> I have 10 million tiny flowers that have to be put together.
Oh, that's pretty. That's going to be pretty. This one's going to be different. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That's half the fun, I guess. <clears throat> also, with creating those collage sheets. It's half the fun turning them over and cutting them apart and seeing what you end up with. I think I'm gonna take out a lot of that background on that one. Keep it neutral. Okay. I think that's it's almost the end of my little stack. Hopefully the gesso is dry. Okay, maybe I should have. And then I said, you know, if if I didn't like save number two, they could always get metallic, and I know I would use those, so I just couldn't see the point of throwing them all away after I did all that work of um, embossing and die cutting. Okay, what color can this one be? Oh boy, should I go for... No. That's pretty purple. Let's see what happens. So I just swirled in the middle, started in the middle and worked my way out. And then I've got too dark because I really wanted to keep pale colors. I um, added more gesso. All that dried pretty fast. It's kind of similar to the metallic ones. Just kind of smear and smudge and get what you get. That would probably look nice as a purple. So other than doing a lot of housekeeping, I haven't started anything major. Um, I think I'm going to move on to neutral. Um, and I'm wiping my fingers between every color. Okay, let's see what... I know I don't want brown. I mostly want tan. Even though I like those colors, I know in the end, I'm probably going to end up needing some neutral. And this is pretty with the gray. So, 
that might end up needing a little more gesso if the uh, some of them I put text on, some of them I didn't. Because I just thought why or do it. Keep some, keep them all different. These might need a little more gesso on the edges. We'll see. Didn't even think I really needed any more pink ones. Okay, I'm gonna be brave and Try a little purple on that too. Let's see what happens. That looks looks vintage, but it's a different kind of vintage, that's for sure. Oh wait a minute, I don't want to make a mess. Let's stick with tan for this one. Okay, I could hope you can see. Okay. These also kind of look like a, you know, an old faded sign. I think they're very pretty. I'm glad I was able to salvage them. So I'm just very happy to be back here instead of fixing all my computer problems. I didn't have time to tell you that I've been through how many? Two operating systems in three weeks. Well, actually, one, two ahead, the old one. Well, no, actually, it's three. Two ahead, one back, and my original. So that's three operating systems. So I think I'm going to just add a touch more gesso to the edge of these so I can catch the text. Just a couple of them. Take out all that nice lavender there. Um, I think the rest are light enough. I don't know if I'm going to be able to text the, these colored base ones. I don't think it's going to show up. I think I did that one. I think I missed it. 
or no, it's just so tan it didn't show up. Oh boy, do I dare go over that with purple? I don't think so. That one's just going to, well, you know what? I'm going to try brown. Now I mixed my gesso with my paint. Okay. Um, get a little gesso in this. Face right there. Okay. Good enough. How long are we? 26 minutes. Okay. Let me move that out of harm's way. Namely me. Um. Okay. I'm just going to choose a tiny font. Pretty sure I use this one. I don't have a block to fit it, so that's another thing on my list. The things I should have spent money on, I didn't. And the things I shouldn't have, I did. So let me make sure that one's dry enough. So then I just took Tiny bit I'm using stays on, and then just stamped somewhere in the shape. Make sure they're dry. Quite pretty. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get some text. Wait a minute, I know I got a blob. Mm. It's okay. It's not great. Shows up better on the white. That one's not dry yet. Uh, ooh, that's very pretty. It's very pretty. you know I still have well I have to do my nails for one thing not, not polish but trim I still have alcohol ink on my fingernail it's still not dry for, I swear, two, two weeks, and it still hasn't went away. I forget what I had the alcohol ink out for. But in the end, it created such a 
I love alcohol ink, but oh. oops, whoops, whoops, don't do that. Some of my bottles have never been opened. And the minute you stick a pin in it to open it, it um, squirts out all over your hand. Let's see if I can get some text on that. It's a little too purple for me. Wow, that's pretty. Okay. Is this one dry? Yep. Um, probably better keep the text on the white side. There we go. It's pretty. And finally, I think I'm going to add text to all of them just because. It appears to be working even on the purple. And normally I don't even cover that much. Okay, do I have any left? Nope. Okay, clean this off. I'll see that didn't take too long and that was a successful save of a failed idea. Clean off my hands here a little bit. <sighs> Put this away. So I really, I really planned on doing these ones, but I'll, I'll include those in pictures in a blog post and I'm sure you'll figure it out if you want to try. But that was not, I don't feel any type of Too, too time consuming and while it's worth it for me because that is my plan to make all my own embellishments in ephemera because I really don't like the store bought ephemera I mean aside from like flowers or something you know dimensional flowers and charms, metal charms, things like that. I just don't like it. And even though I see tons of really cute projects from people who cut by all that and cut it out of their paper packs or whatever, Usually they're just too bright for me and I don't like the white edges and I don't I just prefer making my own so when I realize look at all that money I wait well money usually I bought that kind of stuff on clearance or whatever or from the Dollar Tree but Look at all that money I spent, and I could have um, I could have been making my own and been much happier in the process. Well, I'm just gonna leave these on here because chances are good they will be going on another 
save your, you should recycle, repurpose, reuse idea. Okay, there we go. I hope you like that. Let me get out a few of the um, older ones. There's some pink. There's a mix. That was on a quilt card. Okay, I'll take a picture of this for the um, photo. Where'd my big heart go? That one's very pretty. That's the one I mean. That looks kind of French to me. Oh, here's my heart. Okay. Let's see if I have another but blue. I also did blue. Oh, you know what? I forgot to ink around the edges. So these ones are I don't I don't think they're going to get blue. They're probably going to get some brown or gray. But these ones I use broken china. So rather than get all that out again, I'll just do it after and you choose whatever color ink. You know, yours are going to be different because you're going to choose your own colors anyway. So you choose whatever ink you want to ink the edges or even just go around the edges with some metallic. That would be pretty. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this one. It's uh, just say, as I said, I'm just house cleaning. I still have some more inspired by jewelry pieces to make. <clears throat> I think I'm going to move on. And <clears throat> this is this is them, which I kind of wanted it to be like. Um, now my mind is going to go blank. Yeah, it's totally blank. The jewelry with the, the figure, figure head in it. Oh, what's it called? My mind is total blank. It always goes blank on camera. Always. Does it start with a C? You know what I mean. With the lady's head and then the background is like coral or something. I forget. But that's what my next inspiration was. And um, <clears throat> I'm just going to uh, die cut these and then make a metal frame and that will be my um, last jewelry inspiration for these gathering posts including with these ones and I'll put those in separate separate blog posts but when I move on to the next in the series, it will be something different than than um, embossing and acrylic <clears throat> and paint and gesso because <clears throat> I want to put that away. It's too I don't do that very often. I want to go back to paper and glue. <laughs> I don't do I don't pull out gesso or acrylic or anything like that very often. So, okay, this is getting too long, but I just wanted to catch you up on all these inspirational things and the saves and with that I am just in the middle of changing my focus and house cleaning before I move on to anything major. 
Okay, have a great day everyone. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Bye.